Hello, hello. Good morning, guys. I'm Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Uh, please only take which messages resonate with you. Every message that I say today may not resonate with you. I, I am reading for thousands of people. All right, so let's get down to business, Taurus. Let's see what we have going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Allow me to be the channel for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let Taurus need to know, let them know what they need to know for the highest good. Okay, we've got a spouse you are currently going through a divorce with or separated from. Okay. So this could be somebody either, you don't have to be married, it could be a partner that you are separating from or a, a marriage you're, or you're going through a divorce with or you're separated from a partner or you're going through a divorce with a spouse, okay? That's one energy that came out. All right. What else for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. Okay, we have construction worker or builder. Either you or somebody else here that you know could be a construction worker or a builder. Okay, what else? Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Oh, God. You could be dealing with a warlock. Okay, that's a male witch. Uh, uncle on dad's side. Uh, an uncle on your dad's side of the family. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What else for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's a lot of cards. All right. Okay, we have Judge. CPS. Child, protection, child Protective Services. Tarot card, Diviner, Reader, a male tarot card reader. Home health aide or PC, personal care assistant. I think um, Scorpio got this card. Works at the bank. Scorpio got this card. Somebody could work in hotel or ho work in hotels or a manager of a hotel. Someone is a hacker. A stranger helping you without your knowledge. Okay, your spouse or somebody you're in a relationship with. A fair. A kind and fair boss slash supervisor. You could your boss could be very kind and fair. And we have female. All right, that's a lot. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck we have artist. That's the overall energy. And then we have paralegal or legal secretary here. Somebody could be an artist or a paralegal secretary. Uh, conjurer of demons. This has got something to do with this warlock down here. Conjurer of demons. Overall energy. Mm. Oh, okay, that's a lot, Taurus. Those are some heavy messages, guys. All right. This is a lot of messages. Okay, let's get the overall energy first. We have artist. This could be any kind of artist, creative art, uh, anything to do with art or creativity. This could be you, you, this could be you, Taurus, or it could be somebody you know. Let's see what's the energy of this artist, please. 
artist for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Artist. Profession. Yeah, okay. We have expertise. And I can't see this, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, we have artist and profession. So you could do this for a profession or somebody that you know. Expertise, uh, expertise or talent. Okay, you could be very talented, a very talented, some kind of artist. It could be any kind of artist, graphic artist, painting, anything like that. Anything in the art field. Triumph, success, victory, achievement. You're very talented. You're very successful at this career. This could be you, Taurus. All right, then we have paralegal or legal secretary. All right, somebody could be a paralegal or legal secretary. What is the energy of this paralegal legal secretary for Taurus, please? Paralegal legal secretary for Taurus. Live and learn. Experience, training, development. Fate, coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. Oh. Hmm. Okay, this is some kind of, maybe you worked as a legal secretary or a paralegal. And something happened there, experience, training, development. Maybe this is a job you had at one time and something happened there. You, you learned something there. You learned a lesson. And it, uh, it was fate, maybe because um, we have fate, coincidence, fatalism, fortune telling. Okay. So maybe this job here, you learned some kind of lesson. You left this job and you went to become this artist because it was fated for you to, to not, you were not, this paralegal, you were a secretary. You were not, that's not the career field you were supposed to be in. Or something like that. You do very well with artists. And also fortune telling is on is an art. You could also be a, a fortune teller or a, or a divination. That's considered art to me. All right. My goodness. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Then we have conjurer of demons. And it goes with this warlock over here. I'm just pretty sure of that. But I'm going to see. We're going to put them together. Let's just take it take it one card at a time. Conjurer of Demons. What is this? Please, for my Taurus people. Disturbance. Obscure Irritation Supernatural. Okay, Taurus. I have that warlock in here. All right, we're going to get that energy out in just a minute. Somebody has been doing spell work on you. They've been conjuring demons, sending them your way. Yep, to irritate you. Look, to harm you. Um, these people on here, their skin is broken out. They might have, this disturbance, this demon conjurer sent your way, could have made you sick, made your skin break out. Um, it may have even affected your child or something like that. Good Lord of mercy. Yeah, origin. Initiation, creativity, vitality. Yeah, this was that um, warlock energy, I think, that was planting seeds, all right? So they, they were working on this for a long time. They kept sending you demons, demonic energy, and was affecting your household, maybe even your children. Oh, my God. Let me get this warlock card. Seems to go... Goes with this. Okay. This warlock, somebody, this warlock has been conjuring demons on you. Maybe it's your career. Maybe you're, you're, could be a fortune teller or a card reader too, as well as an artist. You're good at it. All right. What is this warlock energy, please? Daydream, optimism, illusion, delirious. Okay. This warlock was sending you spell work. They were conjuring demons to confuse you. Maybe so you couldn't do your job or you were having trouble focusing. Mm -hmm. But you fought back. Protest. Inadequacy. Sue. Attention. All right. You fought back at this. You fought back. 
Okay, and now this is the mode you're in. You're in the relaxation mode. You fought this warlock, this demon conjurer, and you won. You're getting justice for that. It's very good, okay? Let's see. We have a spouse. You are currently going through a divorce with or separated from or a partner that you're in a relationship that you're separating from or a spouse you're divorcing from okay what's the energy of this a spouse you are currently going through a divorce with or separated from could be just a partner you're separated from adventure explore passion travel okay Taurus, you had some kind of <coughs> relationship whether you were married to this person or not all right, you either going through a divorce or you separated from them. Maybe this person was, uh, maybe this is the person that, maybe this person was demonic, okay? Maybe they were the ones doing this to you or something, or they could have caused this relationship to, this warlock could have put a spell on your relationship. But anyway, now you, you're, you went on an adventure, explorer, passion, travel. You may have moved out of your state where you live, or you may have moved to another state, another country to explore. Alliance, trust, honest, compatibility. Yeah, somebody here could have a dog, or you formed an alliance with someone. Mm hmm. Ooh, construction worker, builder. What's the energy of this um, construction worker or builder? Construction worker, builder for Taurus. Taurus. Okay, we have blessing in reverse. Oh, my God. So, upright is fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. Okay. In reverse. So, let's see. What's on the bottom? Stubbornness. Self, selfness. Mullish attitude. Arrogance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you, Taurus, stubborn. You know, just saying. Hmm. Okay, this could be something that you did as a job before you became this artist up here, as well, because you were a paralegal at one time or you know somebody. But this um, construction worker. You have a talent or something, and you could have worked at this job for a while, but it was blocking your blessings, and people kept telling you you had a gift, and you were too stubborn to listen. And yeah, so far, that's what I'm getting. Uncle on dad's side of the family. All right. Okay, uncle on dad's side of the family. Reverse cards. Oh. Look. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Taurus, on your dad's side of the family is this warlock here. The one that put the spells on you. They, what happened is you had to take a job. Maybe you had to take a job you don't really like. This person block, was blocking your blessings, and people were trying to tell you, but you didn't listen. <laughs> Stubborn. Uh, uncle on dad's side of the family. This is right in reverse. Okay, upright is ceremony, mystery, magic. This is a warlock that did magic on you. But I'm getting now that these spells, the and conjure demons on you to block your blessings. I'm getting now the spell has been reversed. The warlock is actually the an uncle on your dad's side of the family, Taurus. Oh my God. Well, at least the spell is broken. Fright, depression, phobia, paranoid. Yeah, they were sending you bad, they were conjuring demons, sending you bad energy, blocking your blessings, trying to keep you from going towards this calling as this artist energy, any type of art, even um, healing or tarot card reading, drawing, graphic arts, anything like that. Even, you know, something like, even cooking. Fright, depression, phobia, paranoid, they were trying to make you paranoid, trying to scare you, make you frightened so you wouldn't, see so you wouldn't move forward and... But you persevered. You persevered. The spell on this has been broken. That's good, Taurus. And we have Judge. All right. My goodness. We have Judge. 
What's the judge energy for Taurus? What's the judge energy for Taurus? Confinement. Captivity. Tolerance. and freedom. Oh my lord. Death. Endless harm. Inevitable. What the hell? Alright, this is a judge. Uh, Taurus, maybe you or somebody you know could have gotten arrested. Okay? Maybe you had to go to jail. And while you're in this jail, you could have... Um, I don't know. This judge, some kind of judge entered death, endless harm, inevitable. Somebody was trying, this judge was trying to harm you. Maybe this spell work caused you to go to jail. This warlock on your dad's side of the family. Oh, my God. Okay, we have CPS, Child Protective Services. Okay. CPS, Child Protective Services. What is this, please? For Taurus. Accident. Oh, goodness. Okay, CPS. Child Protective Services? Okay. Hmm. Accident. Danger, caution, injury. Um, I don't know what this has to do with Child Protective Services, but danger, caution, injury, accident. You could have had a motorcycle, a car, or a bike accident and got injured. All right. E external love, eternity, consistency, soulmate. All right. You could have a child, uh, you could have a child that got injured, Taurus, in an accident, some sort of accident. And this happened. Maybe you're with a soulmate when this happened. And maybe somebody called Child Protective Services on you. I don't know. What the hell is this? CPS, accident, eternal love. Let's get another card. Collaboration. Oh. Backup, unity, enhancement. Okay. This is somebody. There goes the screen. Come on back on here. Collaboration. Somebody, a team of people, if you have a child, Taurus, they could have tried to harm the child, either get in an accident, a year, a year with a soulmate at the time. And these people might have um, called C Child Protective Services and said you were a bad mom or something. Yeah. Marionette, dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Yeah, maybe they called... They, this, these people were doing this to manipulate you. Mm. Cause conflict with you. That's what I'm getting from that. Tarot card reader, diviner, a male tarot card reader. Okay, what is this? Tarot card reader, male tarot card reader. It'll come back on momentarily. Luck in reverse. Man. Okay, this uncle that's on your dad's side of the family is a warlock. Also, or this tarot male tarot card reader could be a warlock. And what they did, luck in reverse. There is a check for $10 million money, jackpot fortune uh, reward. This person was trying to, the tarot card, the uh, warlock could be the um, male tarot reader. Okay, they, they could have put spells for your finances for your finances to be on hold and they were working with an uncle on their dad's side of the family mm -hmm. libation donation pray religion they could have um like i said paid a, a or they could have paid a warlock to do this to you home health aid or pc um scorpio got this card home health aid or personal care assistant illness okay you could be a home health aide or pc or someone you know we have illness disease weakness fragility yeah this might be what you do for a living or you could be a healer either way because it says up here you're an artist i mean you could have done a lot of different jobs this spell is broken 
uh, maybe this person, this warlock, try to make you sick. Or you take care of sick people. Evidence. Detection. Investigation. Proof. Wow. Maybe you found, maybe you already know about this. You found some evidence with these, with either this um, warlock, this t male tarot card reader that's a warlock or an uncle on the dad's side of the family. Mm -mm -mm. Works at the bank. Um, Scorpio got this card. Works, who works at a bank. A lot of reverse cards. Strategy in reverse. Planning, prediction, mind reading. Oh, God, yeah. This is somebody that works at a bank. Um, they could have had something to do holding your money. But this is strategy in reverse. Whoever this person works at a bank, they, they may have worked with this other person to stop your money or to freeze your accounts or something like that. I'm just taking a guess on that one. And the strategy's in reverse, so it didn't work. Trap, victim, allure, trick. They were trying to trap you. Yeah, someone coached this uh, bank employee. Okay, they told them what to do. They may have, bri they could have bribed them. Works in hotels or hotel manager. Who is this? Hesitation, decision, confusion, worry. Okay, why is that here? Natural disaster, risk, frustra frustration, survive. Hmm. This is someone you work for or you were a hotel manager. <coughs> I'm not quite sure what that is. What is this? Works in hotel, hotel manager. Promise. Responsible confirmation assurance. Okay. You could have worked at a hotel or a hotel manager and maybe you were hesitant to take this job maybe it wasn't you didn't like it there you had a bad supervisor okay hmm you could have had an affair with somebody, your, your manager. This person could have gave you a ring or something like that. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, we have hacker. Hacker. What's the hacker energy? What they? What's going on with the hacker? Blind. <laughs> Awkward, unknown vision problems. Okay, this person, there could be somebody hacking your computer or your devices and you don't know about it it's unknown to you you're not seeing it right now and maybe somebody told you that and this card says okay maybe you said yeah all right okay a stranger helping you without your knowledge okay what is this for taurus good news encouragement miracle surprise okay what I'm seeing here, what I, indulgence, interaction, joy, friendliness. This is new friends here. You you made some new friends. You might be working in a job that you like a lot. This, this art energy up here or something like that. You might have a job now that you really like. All right. And maybe a stranger or a healer sent some good energy your way to help you get this job. Or maybe you didn't like the job you had and you had to get another one and this was good news to you. Okay, your spouse or your partner, whoever, even if whether you're married or not. What is this? Your partner, your spouse. Marriage. Sweet love, couple dependency. Oh, okay, Taurus, did you get married? Did you get married, Taurus? Yeah, you guys are in love. This is somebody you got that you're married to. Merit making, goodness, humanist, morality. Hmm.
hmm, I don't know about this. Codependency? I mean, dependency. Maybe this person is dependent on you or you're dependent on them. Mm -hmm. You might... Oh, wow. You could have had just had a baby with this person. You could have had a baby. Okay, you're, yeah, you got a better job. A kind and fair boss slash supervisor. Okay. This could be a female boss, but we're going to see. A kind and fair boss supervisor. Okay, we have aid, mercy, charity, kindness. Yeah, maybe you lost your job or something. And this, uh, now you have a job you like. And this fair and kind supervisor hired you. Maybe you didn't have any experience in this job. Friendship, team, connection, network. Maybe you're a, you work, you know, with, with friends, a team. Goal, purpose, expectation, destination. You could be destined to do this job as with the fate card up here. You got a very good boss. Okay, I think this boss, is this boss a female? Let's see, what's the female? Female. Okay, idea in reverse, inspiration, suggestion, vision. Okay, no, it's not. This is this is some different energy, female. So we have idea in reverse. All right, what's this? Homeless, failure, castaway, poor. Wow. This is a female energy that you know that might be homeless. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that. Oh, this is a different type of reading. This is a lot different from the others. Um, hmm. And if I'm reading for a man, maybe this female you got involved with caused you to become homeless. Maybe they spent all your money or something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's get some clarification here. So let's go back over this again. It's actually not all that bad, but looks like st some things that it's already happened. You're in a job you like. You're very talented. You had this warlock that conjured demons that sent demons to you and your children. You had somebody um, trying to cause you to be in an accident, trying to call in CPS to... Report, saying you're a bad mother or father but now you have you have somebody you got married to and you could have a baby okay you could have a baby with this person okay and the good news is it's kind of a straightforward read the good news is the warlock which is either the male tarot card reader that they that someone hired or an, an uncle on your dad's side of the family, okay? Is the warlock the uncle on the dad's on your dad's side of the family, Taurus? Uh, and I got my cards turned around. Got them turned around backwards here. <laughs> Been up all night, guys. Sorry. Okay, is this person that conjured demons and sent them to you? Is this the um, uncle on your dad's side of the family? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Is this the male tarot card reader that did this to you? Did they send you demons, conjured up demons, and send them your way? Yes. So, yeah. Moon is no. This is, yes, they did. They sent. It's a male tarot card reader. All right. Wow. This person could be uh, an emperor. There could be a boss. They could have a business where they actually do things like this for a living. Okay. All right. Let's see this. Did you get married, Taurus? Let's see. Is this Taurus married that I'm talking about? Yep. You're happy now. You have a family. Ten of cups. You're stable. Mm hmm Did you just have a baby recently? Yep. Two of cups. Yeah, wow. Okay. 
All right, let me see. Anything else? How about this female over here? Idea in reverse and homeless. King of Wands. All right, so King of Wands energy. Masculine energy. Okay, is this person the one you're married to now? Yeah. Okay, you and this person could have been homeless or something, or they could have been homeless, and you married them. You got married, you have a baby together with your, you know, man or woman. Five of Swords energy. Conflict, argument, failure, fighting without scruples, unfair advantages, hollow victory. Well, if you guys were homeless or poor at the time, I would say it's an unfair advantage because it looks like to me that you guys were, that you were working here. All right. Yeah, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So we have the King and Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is person you're married to is your divine counterpart. And there's love here. There could have been a, this, this uh, person could have left you for another person, and but they came back to you. And some, something about this person was fighting without scruples, unfair advantages, hollow victory. Yeah, now you guys are healing with the star energy. This has actually turned out okay. Ace of Cups, a lot of love here, new beginnings. You've learned to love yourself as well. You could have a happy family. Yep, all right. What is this? CPS, Child Protective Services, Accident, Eternal Love, Collaboration, Marionette, and Conflict. What is this for Taurus? The Devil and the Page of Wands. Okay. This could have been some kind of, of a, an addiction you had at the time when you were maybe younger, or you could have it now. Um... May, did someone call CPS on you? Okay, High Priestess. They don't want us to know. Mm -hmm. All right. Why is the High Priestess here? Empress. Justice. Okay. Did. Oh, my God. Look. Looks like to me, Taurus, you had like a nosy mother or mother-in-law or father-in-law or something that was watching you and they may have thought they called CPS on you about your child or something weird like that. I'm not sure what that is. Oh my God. There is really, but everything is good now. This is actually a good reading. Everything is good now because um, this warlock that tried to that was sending you demonic energy, the spell has been broken. So you're good to go. All right. All right. So you're already you're already with somebody. Mm -hmm. You're getting justice now. You went through a lot. What is this uncle on your dad's side of the family? What? What did he have to do with this? Forgot to get a card on that. Uncle on dad's side of the family for Taurus. Uncle on your dad's side of the family for Taurus. Uncle on your dad's side of the family for Taurus. Because it was a male tarot card reader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That puts a spell on you. Okay. This the, the uncle on the dad's side of the family is a drug addict. They're a drug dealer. They're a creepy pervert. pervert. <laughs> a daughter energy is protecting you. This daughter has a high IQ. Somebody's in a secret society. Female cousin on dad's side of family. Restaurant manager. Current spouse who hired a black magic practitioner to harm you. Oh, Lord. And we have empath, police officer, charming trickster. 
Okay. And an LBGTQ female overall energy. Hmm. Not sure I want to read the rest of this. But somebody, the person that you're with now, you could be married to a police officer. Okay. This is somebody you could be married to or in a relationship with. They hired a black magic practitioner to harm you. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Okay, is this the person you're, you're with now that you have a child with? Police officer, current spouse who hired a black magic... Did this, did this spouse actually hire... A black black magic practitioner to to hurt you. Yes, they did. Ace of Pentacles. They could have definitely did because they were paid money. Mm hmm Yep. You had a very long, hard battle with this person. Oh my god. Oh, daughter protecting high IQ. This reading is, a, there's a lot going on in here. Okay, but I'm getting that, is the spell, is that spell broken now? Is this something different? No, it's not. Okay. So you have a warlock that was conjuring demons on you. That spell's been broken. Is this been recent? Is this recent? Is this a recent? No, it's not recent. How long ago has it been? How long ago has it been? Oh, Lordy. Could have happened in uh, Gemini season. Which, yeah, that's recent. Gemini season. Okay, Taurus. This reading it just took a, took a turn. Somebody that you're with now, whether you're married to them or not, they could be the police or, or not. They could be any profession. This person's in Seven of Swords energy. They could have hired a black magic practitioner to harm you. It just happened. It, it, it happened recently sometime. Okay. Let's make sure. When did this happen? Okay. I can't do four. It has to be a major arcana. Let's get a date card. Yours is different, Taurus. Your reading is different from the others. It's a little different. One, two, three, four, seven. Okay. All right. When did this person, when did the spouse or the partner you're with hire a black magic practitioner to, hire, to harm you? When did this happen for Taurus? Current spouse or partner who hired a black magic practitioner to harm you. This is sad. Okay, when did this happen? Oh, it's been going on for a while. September 19th to November 9th. It could be any of those dates. Oh, Taurus. Well, one spell is broken. Now there's another one. So, one was done by a male tarot card reader. That spell's been broken. One is done by, and it could be even, it, it, they, they did it, it says current spouse or partner. And they did it around September 19th and November 9th. They could be a police officer. Don't have to be any profession. Kind of, yeah, guardians of the gates of time. Okay, I'm going to explain that to y'all. Well, I did a reading on this, and I don't think I explained it. I'm sorry. Um, there's seven phases of the year when these people do occult practices. They, pro they went to a practitioner. All right. So, this person's been attacking you for a long time. There's seven phases of the year these occult people have. And I just, this Guardians of the Gates of Time is... 
Like when, for example, like when Queen Elizabeth was a guardian of time. Okay, after she law after she died, then everything was going smooth. But after she died, everybody was jumping in trying to take her spot. All right. So what I'm trying to say is every time, time has gates, all right? Another phase, like somebody else is taking over in power here. I'm not, I hope I'm making myself clear. But September 19th to November 9th of last year, it's been going on for a while now. Control magic to break up someone else's relationship. Oh, man. This could have happened, this is the sixth time they tried this. Anything else that they try? What else did they do? Okay. Okay, here is an, uh, Guardians of the Gates of Time. Queen Elizabeth reigned as queen for 70 years. She passed. Whenever a ruler passes away, because she was a ruler for 70 years, whenever a ruler passes away, the occult people's power increases. Also, politicians, because there's an empty throne. All right, that's what they mean by the Queen Elizabeth was a guardian of the gate of time. Yep, seven phases. Significant events happen at these clo openings and closings of these gates of time. Satan and the occult people are proactive to these cycles. Attacks can work 52 days. So they could have done this. Is they could have done this to you six times. What they're what what I'm trying to say is Taurus. You're some kind of powerful spiritualist or whatever. You have some kind of power here. And they're trying to knock you off your throne. All right? And they're attacking you. They want an empty throne so they can take over. But they can't take you out. Now this, whoever you're married to, or it even could be an ex-husband or wife, they're trying to take you out. Yeah, candle spell to bring pressure to an enemy. And we have here, look. Ezekiel 34, 16. Boy, your read is really spiritual. Ezekiel 34, 16. I will seek which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and will bind up which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. Therefore, I will save my flock and they shall no more be a prey. And I will judge between cattle and cattles. Okay. You're a very powerful person. Um, these people want you to pass away so they can take your spot. You're a guardian of the gate of time. It, like I said, the that's in, if you if you you have a lot of power. If you pass away, all these occultists and politicians, there'll be an empty throne, an empty divine divine person. And then they can take they can take control. They can, you know, take your spot. That's what it is. But God says, hell no, they're not going to let them. These people are predators. Predators. It says prey, predator. You're not going to be a predator anymore. But this um, spouse or ex-spouse, somebody, we have, whoever it is, you're happy over here. It could be the person you're with that's doing this. It could be. Don't have to be, or it could be an ex. But God has got your back. He says you will no you will no longer be a prey to these predators. What I'm getting is that these are predators and you are their prey because they want to take over your throne. They want to take your spot. Guardians of the gates of time. You're very powerful. This is wild. But you already one spell has already been lifted. All right, the male tarot card reader that did that. That, that spell has already been lifted. Oh, wow. You have a daughter protecting you. You have a daughter with a high IQ. You have protection from God, the divine. And this right here. You shall no longer be a prey to these predators. All right. They want to take your spot. That's all it is. Okay. You just have this one thing here. But you're still protected. 
this other spell has totally been sent back. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> Taurus, your read was really different from everybody else's. Um, you're a divine being, whether you're a male or female. All right, Taurus, I'll see you later. I hope this reading helped. Thank you and God bless.